Eagle Lake, Ontario. A remote Canadian haven that my poppy, Mylan Gaza, loved so dearly and has been his resting place since August of 2009. He left a lasting impact on the lives of those around him and inspired me to launch my musky channel, SG Angling. For over a decade, I dreamed of returning to Eagle Lake to pay respects to the legacy he left behind and to proudly carry the torch as it passes from one generation to the next. As this much anticipated Canadian adventure came to fruition, the goal was simple to visit Poppy's favorite spots on the East End and fish our hearts out for the elusive muskie while paying respects to his life and legacy. That's a musky! It's a musky, dude! It is the evening before our first day here at the amazing Temple Bay Lodge. Just getting things situated before we hit the water in the morning. In a crazy turn of events, as I was getting some sunset drone shots of Josh fishing off the dock, he hooks into and lands a nice pike. But we should definitely get some sleep because we have several days of back breaking casting coming up. So the initial game plan this morning is to hit some rocks uh, and some different rock structures, so we'll see what happens. Whoa. Oh, dude, here's one. Ah, yeah. He was like 41, 42. My bait got fouled up and he came right in on the foul bait when I was ticking the rocks. I wonder if I spooked it when I moved. Yeah, you did. <clears throat> so I brought that fish up on the triple D here. You can see this big, thick plastic lip that's really designed to bounce off the rocks. Guys have had a lot of success with this over the years in the lake, so. I don't know if it was a fluke or it's a pattern we want to follow. Fish and I'm like, bro, you're living the life. Like, yeah. oh, 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 shoot! Is that, that a big one? That was a big one. That was a huge pike. Was it? Yeah. Pike? Yeah, it was definitely a pike. Huge pike. Jiminy Christmas! That was a solid 42, 43 inch pike. You think? Oh, yeah. What oh, do you think, Jordan? He was, he was, he was big. Oh, you didn't that look at it. Big pike. Not a muskie, though. Definitely not a muskie. Josh, is that that 8-9 stagger? Yes. <laughs> I told him last night, I said, you got to put that on. Yeah, he said that was a big fish. And he couldn't get it out? Well, Uncle Steve said... Oh, there we go. Oh, that, that feels like a good fish. It's a nice fish. I'll give it a minute. This is a good fish. Think it might be? Oh, this is a good one. Oh, it's a big one. <laughs> That's a 36-inch pike. That is a nice one. That's a pike for Mr. Uh, Mr. Pike Daddy. Alright, so Josh here with a 35-incher, right? Yep. That'll make it was. Real nice fish caught on a big spinner bait. Big spinner bait. Big spinner bait. Just had a 43, 42 blow up, but that, we didn't get that one, but this is a real nice fish. Beautiful. Alright, nice. let's get her back. All right, give her a push. Yes. He came from your direction. Yeah. Oh, there he is. Oh, that's a pike. That's a good fish. Pike. That's I, a good fish. I think it's a that's pike. That's a really good fish. It's a pike. I think that's a pike the way it. He's just wrapped up. Oh, it, it felt like it was a freaking hundred pounds because I couldn't move it. <laughs> Son of a gun! Dude, I just love being in the boat with you. <laughs> First pike of the day. Pretty nice fish, I'd say. 
Good old Josh thought he had like a 50 inch <laughs> swordfish on. <laughs> it was a big false alarm, but. <laughs> it was a fish nonetheless. It was a fish nonetheless, for sure. Wow. Nice first fish. We have found these fish to be scattered, but last night it rained. Cool down the water a little bit. We're finding them, seems to be in the weeds. That could be the bite, so we're really gonna find out uh, later today, but uh, that's a good start. Ah, oh, dude, these are unbelievable. Dude, oh, dude, oh my goodness. That fish was so hot. Hopefully it's, um... Is that a muskie? Yeah, big muskie. Dude, did you see it? I, think, yeah, I saw it hit. Did you see it come out of the water? Yeah, dude. Yeah. That was a nice low, another low 40s. Wow, dude. Out of the water, completely missed it. Snap, <sighs> those fish are hitting on your back. Oh, yeah. While our first two days were loaded with action, we had yet to accomplish our goal of boating a muskie, as Eagle is notorious for offering some of the world's pickiest fish. As our time to pay tribute to Poppy neared, we knew landing his favorite fish would be the best way to honor his life and legacy. And there was no better way to do this than to say a quick prayer as we needed some divine intervention in order to put this elusive fish in the boat. Shortly after our prayer, while in transit to our second spot of the day, we had no intentions of fishing the small island with the dying pines, but out of the blue, my brother asks, did Poppy have this island marked out? I glanced down at my map and said, it's funny you ask that, because he did. Let's fish it. Kind of lazy. <laughs> Hold on. He was like waiting for my bait to come out of the rock. Probably like. He hit my ear. That's a musky! It's a musky, dude! Right side, right side, right side! This one right here. That's a good fish. Beautiful fish. Caught on my homemade good bucktail here with Tackle fish. Industries parts. And uh, get him on the bump quick. Four. Four. 43 and three quarters. Yeah. Okay, you ready? That muskie got me very wet on the tail kick, so she swam off strong. But we were fishing uh, adjacent to deep water, and uh, the weeds were really packed in here up against the rocks in the spot that my poppy marked out for us. He didn't know he marked it out for us, but he did. We went in there and we got it done. So we had, a, uh, we had to pray this morning because we needed divine intervention for sure. And it wasn't uh, too long after the prayer that we got one, after two long days of trying. So. Let's get some more. So this is the spot here. It's basically a bay and then you can see that little point which is right there and then right where Josh is fishing here on the other side there's more weeds and rocks. The fish was right there in that little weed bed and if you look out you have deep water and uh, our boat was actually just in 25 feet of water. It's one of my favorite types of spots when you can turn around and hit 25 feet of water with a couple casts. Those fish have uh, the ability to slide in and out of that deep water 
and go into the feeding area super quick. So that fish was just hanging out there and uh, that's where we were able to get her. Average too. Oh. Oh, that was a mess. <laughs> oh, dude, yeah. Dude, it's it's broadleaf cabbage. He was hot. He was hot. He was hot. He, just he was a warm water type fish. Dude, this is because it's a mix of coontail and cabbage in here. That's why he was there. Our boat went right on top of him. Come on, Josh. I'm cheering you on with my musky pom-poms. You can do it. <laughs> Let's go, Josh. Dun, dun. Oh, here it goes. Big musky. He's hot. Damn it. Darn, dude. I thought he was going to go. 42, 43. Oh, dude, I thought he was gonna go. Thank you. Oh, he's on me now. Is he? Yep. Come up a little higher. Reel up just a hair. He, I think he hit it coming around that corner there. Yep. Yeah. You gotta go fast to the inside, then, then slow on the top. He's still there. You gotta, you gotta reel up a little more line. You got a lot of line out there. There, there you go. go. There you go. It gives you more control. All right, so this might be a pretty boring photo to some, but I think it's pretty special to me because this is a spot where I got my very first muskie ever. Right off of that point right there with a the fox fire, which is my grandfather's lure, my poppy's lure. And uh, yeah, we just kind of accidentally ran across it. And uh, here it is. So there's a lot of weeds. In here, we'll see what we can catch, but just wanted to, to share that with you guys. Big musky. Oh, dude. Oh, oh, right oh. into the eight. Dude, come on, right into the eight, man. Hi. Slow on the top, slow on the top. Giant fish. Bigger than the one I caught. He really spooked. Here he is. Here he is. Different, Different one. Different, Different fish. One. Still there. He's still there. He's still there. He's still there. Oh, he's after. He's after. So close to eating it. Give me an I. Give me a T. Give me an I. D E. Uh, this is, might be a smallmouth. I hope it is. It is! It is! It is. Oh, it's a bass! Yes! I cannot believe it. It's a bass. Our first smallmouth bass of the trip. Such a beautiful fish. I, we haven't seen any up to this point, not caught any at least, and uh, so I was happy for that. Let's get him back. You want it netted? It's not big enough to net. Whoa, that's a musky. Oh, he took a swipe at it. Oh, no, 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 no. Doesn't matter. Oh, you had hooks. Oh, no, 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 no. There he is. So you can see here I'm using Tackle Industries rods unbelievable rods but one of the other things they also do is they sell custom uh, spinner bait parts and bucktail parts so if you want to make your own bucktails for musky or pike you can do that they have a beautiful skirt and i did uh, mixed up a couple blade combos looks like a number seven and a number ten um, fish have really been after this all week so you can see i have a lot of different homemade bucktails in the bag 
and that just makes for a, a fun experience and uh, it's something you can call your own so head on over to tackle industries there's a link in the description below where you can get a discount and uh, you can start doing that yourself at this point i would like to officially introduce you to my childhood buddy josh who to this point has yet to break the 40 inch mark after nearly three full days of raising giant muskies and catching endless pike the frustration started to set in for josh who began to pout like a toddler that missed a nap. I suppose I underestimated the impact that a mere fish could have on a grown man. In fact, the more he fished, the worse his back pains became. But at 4.17 p.m. on day three, that all changed. Two from the same bait, one from a different bait. This lodge sell uh, bucktail making supplies. Maybe we can make a couple more. Here we go. They get a lift it right now. Huh? Big musky behind your bait, Josh. Dude. Oh my gosh, dude! You're good, you're good. Right into the eight, right into the eight. Oh, he's after it, dude. He's after it. You're up ahead. You gotta come up higher. You gotta come up higher and let him eat. Yep. Oh, you got him! Got him! Got him! Yes! Lift up, lift up. Yes! Yes! Oh my word, bro! Yes! 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 <laughs> I'm so happy Whoa! for you, bro! I'm so yes! happy for you, bro! You worked so f***ing hard for that! Oh, dude! What a great figure eight! Dude, you executed! What a nice fish! 43 in, a, in an eighth. What a beautiful fish here from Josh. He worked so hard for this fish. He was down in the dumps all day what long. What a beautiful fish. Down in the dumps, but he, he kept casting. Kept it's all casting. you gotta do. He did a figure eight perfectly. And we were able to get a quick net. All right, let's get him in the water. All right, I'm afraid he's gonna All right, just hold his tail yeah, tight. Just hold him just hold him, don't even push him back. Yep, he's starting to kick. Now just push him to the side, like, yeah. No, 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 don't drag him back. There we go, there we go. Oh, that was mean. Biggest fish of Josh's life. Woo. Josh, what do you have to say? That was an experience. Amazing, congratulations, dude. I think one of the most amazing things about that catch is that if you can see that island right there, my Poppy is actually buried there. His ashes are in that bay where he caught his first really big muskie. And to have that in the background of this amazing catch by Josh is just so fitting. Um, we were fishing in this little bay right here and Josh was throwing that spinner bait actually right there. Muskie came in, They've, the fish have been so, so shallow all day inside weed edges and uh, followed in and Josh just executed that figure eight absolutely perfectly. Towards the end of day three, as the wind subsided and the sun began to fall towards the horizon, we knew the time had come to pay a visit to Poppy's Bay. This bay will forever be known as Milan's Bay. For over 30 years, Poppy considered Temple Bay Lodge his second home. Was it the warm hospitality, the delicious meals, the beauty of the Canadian sunsets, or the elusive nature of the muskie that kept him coming back? All I know is that Eagle Lake was heaven to him. After he passed away in 2009, my Grammy, Mary Jane, lowered his ashes into his bay where he caught his first giant muskie. His passion for muskie fishing left such an impact on those around him that if you walk into Temple Bay Lodge, there mounted on the wall is his 52 and a half inch muskie, caught with none less than his famous homemade lure, the Foxfire. So 
of course, in honor of my poppy. <clears throat> I felt a fitting that we all put on Foxfires in his honor, even though we've had some action with some other baits today. So all three of us are throwing on his homemade patent pending bait. We're catching a lot of pike in here. We're just seeing if we can catch a muskie in his honor, but if it's pike, just pike, that will do. We're just happy to be able to do this in his honor. Oh, there's another pike. 